Alrighty, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're back with uh, our usual middle of the, not middle of the week because it's bloody Monday. Our usual weekday single player playthrough. Um, my week got a bit busy last week, so that's why we did a Tuesday, Wednesday rather than a Monday, Wednesday. Um, but we finished up God of War last week, which is really, really awesome. I super enjoyed that game. I can't wait till Ragnarok has a PC port uh, so that I can play it and have you guys watch it because uh, it looks super cool. Uh, other than that, we played some COD DMC over the weekend, uh, Friday night, Saturday. Um, that was Friday night? Did we play Friday night? I can't remember. I think we did. Maybe I didn't stream it, though. That sounds unlikely. Anyway, we played COD DMZ on Saturday. It's fun. Uh, it's definitely new. It needs a bit of work. Uh, the Season 2 updates look really, really good, or at least really promising. Um, so hopefully we'll play a bit more of that this week. Uh, we'll get back into Apex when the new season starts. I don't think we'll be playing any more Apex until then. Um, but hey, who knows? Might get sick of DMZ quickly, or I might just have a bit of a craving for some Apex. So, uh, yeah. We're going to play some Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order for our next single player playthrough. Uh, a little bit because the new one's coming out and I'd like to play that sort of sooner rather than later. And I want to try and get this finished and another game done as well. Maybe a shorter, not so open world game done uh, before we get into the new one so i don't think i'll be playing it right on release but maybe like a a couple of weeks after i know that lots of other people play it on release day that's awesome uh hopefully you come and, and view the channel here as well uh we've got a tiktok going now it's thor gt clips on tiktok if you want to go over there and check out some of the clips uh, as always everything's posted to the youtube uh most things are posted to the instagram i got to get a bit more on top of that uh but yeah i think that's all the updates so i'm ready to get into this uh full transparency i play like ooh, steam will tell me how much of this did i play before i gave up last time i played three hours of this about uh i want to say a year ago maybe more uh, uh let's see 2021 was the last time i played this game and i didn't play i didn't not play it because i didn't like it i just other games came along that I wanted to play. So I'm gonna we're gonna start fresh because to be honest, I have no idea how to play this game anymore. Um I think the combat is pretty similar to God of War. We'll see. Um I do distinctly remember though last time I played this, after the like the first main mission, I decided to go straight to Dathomir rather than the other planet, and I feel like that was a damn mistake. So we're not gonna do that this time. Uh so live and learn, and yeah let's start a new journey um let's go master i don't want it to be too easy you know but i'm definitely not a grand master so that looks nice and balanced for uh for good old thor oh okay that's a weird interface uh we're going to be doing controller for this one as well i just don't think and i think it has a thing saying like this is made for controller, so, you know, play it on controller, but, yeah. Loves those not ultra-wide cutscenes. So I remember the scrapyard and all this. Again, this is this is a cool looking game. Like I wish we got more Star Wars like this. Oh, my neck is still quite sore.
Mm, that's weird. Like hold hold jumping. Fucking rude, mate. So rude. Man. Wee. Surf the way down, baby. How I was gonna say how's he already waiting down here, but it's not. It bent, mate. Ooh, the soap burn. Oh shit. That was a mistake. Okay. Like it's it's coming back to me a little bit, but How dare you tell me what to do. Climb up here. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. This time, what happened last time, my brother? Give him the clamps. Guess we'll just drop in. Yeah. Okay. Wait, where am I supposed to be going? Obviously not that way. Not that way either. What the shit? What have I missed here? Oh, we're back at it. It's 
like real dark here as well. I'm not supposed to climb that, am I? Oh god. That was not at all obvious. Uh Uh, of course. Sorry, I just realized that the audio was muted from when I did the intro, so... Enjoy the silentness of the first 20 minutes. 20 minutes, 13 minutes, I guess. It could be way worse. I knew that I'd forget to unmute it as well. That intro music was just so loud. Please no, trust me. I've seen the I've, I've seen the stories. I've heard it. Pro, the bounties out on people I like know. you. I know. Yeah, we're ready. We need to be careful. Yeah. Yeah.
holding up okay? Good. Yeah. You? Yeah. Kel, I've been working with you some time now. I've never seen you do anything like that before. <laughs> We've been through some hell together. <laughs> so, I know the risk that you took for me. I just, I don't know how to repay you. Don't mention it. I mean it. Oh, you don't have to worry about me. This place, it's not safe. Maybe you should, you know, disappear. I'm just gonna head back to my place, grab my bag. Tapper's owes me a favor. Oh. I heard he was up on, uh, Mel Yeah. You won't be seeing me for a while, bro. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, Kel. Don't fall asleep on the bus, man. How many times do I have to press this before he realizes it's. Oh, shit! Is this all of them? Yes, second sister. We seek a dangerous fugitive. This is no common anarchist, but a devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. <sighs> Failure to turn over this traitor will result in a charge of sedition. Turn yourself in. Or everyone present shall face summary execution. 
I think it's time someone came forward. I, uh... I've been working on this heap a long time. Way before the war. We refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Then came the Empire. And engineers became scrappers. The workers? They just started getting worked. Prof. We all know the truth. We're just too afraid to say it. To the Empire, we're all just expendable. Yes, you all. <laughs> no! Look at this, a lightsaber. I found the Jedi. <laughs> You see, I like, don't quite believe this. Like, I imagine that's going pretty goddamn fast, right? What is this? Guys, uh... I chose to rest instead. That's how I prepare. That's how you prepare for death. Did you hear that too? Ah, yes. Damn. See, it's gonna do that thing where, yeah, that thing. Are we gonna have another one drop down? Is that what's gonna happen? Juice left. There we go. sound of this inner tunnel of business. Gets squished on a wall. Also just PTSD from Sylvester Stallone's daylight. Oh, okay. Come on. Okay, I, I hear you. Almost got him. Yeah. Oh. 
Need some health though, Cal. My son, Cal. Stop the train. I don't think you get health regen in this. Oh no! Need cover. Got to move in between bursts. Now. That nearly ended poorly. Get down before, mate. Now you want to get up? Get on. Huh? Oh, like what? There you go. That was again unintuitive. I get like you don't want hand holding, but you know. Unintuitive gameplay is just as bad. Right. Like that joke that they make in Shazam about that is just perfect. You're not going to be able to hear him. Come on. Cow. Yeah, I should have, you know, full slowed him or something. Um, I remember the respawn mechanic as being a bit bullshit as well. I vaguely remember one time someone described it as souls like. Yeah, there we go. Nonsense. Alright, fuck you. We're just going in. We're going in. What now? I don't know. You're running the show. I mean, I'm the player. Stuff? Ah, hallucinating again. Alright. 
hurt that little boy. Let's go. Shit. Fuck. No, we missed that. We missed that so badly. Come on. After all, who is your master, Padawan? Someone I killed, perhaps? What Jedi gave their life so that you might live? Make it too easy. It's just messing me up good. Like, I'm on the tiniest bit of hell, which I'm guessing means I'm supposed to have been dead, but for story purposes, Cal can't die here, right? Like, Thing off and grab some seat. Thanks for the help. But who are you people? My name is Seer Junda, and this is my captain, Grease Dritus. How you doing? Yeah, the man is my ship, but you better pay attention to this lady here. So, who are you? Cal, Kestis. Who was that back there? Imperial Inquisitor. She's a force user hunting Jedi survivors. And now that she knows who you are, Roll she will not stop until she destroys you. How do you know so much? And why'd you help me? We track Imperial communications. We heard the Inquisitors were heading to Brock. So we made our move. Oh, yeah? And what's the bounty on Jedi these days anyway? That's gratitude for you. Look, I get it. You've been surviving on your own for so long that it's impossible to trust anyone. And it's what's kept you alive. But this is about something bigger than just surviving. Like what? Like rebuilding the Jedi Order. You too? Anybody else? Oh, we're not good enough for you? The Jedi Council? Set a course for Bagano. <laughs> aye, aye. In the meantime, try and relax. Go, you're safe. For now.
You gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. Calico! You were talking in your sleep. It's not a weird transition. Space Banjo. That's all. I wrote it. Years ago. You touch an object and witness events connected to it. Feel its history. It's an echo in the force from the object. Not many Jedi have that skill. How would you know that? I was once a Jedi, but not anymore. Do I know you? No. But I knew your master, Jarrod DePaul. He was a true guardian of the Republic. He was a hero. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but my connection to the Force is damaged. When I meditate, if I let my guard down, I lose control. And it's like I'm back in that moment when... You survived, Cal. And you're not alone. Not anymore. We're we'll coming up on our destination. Classic Star Wars crossfades. This Seam transition. Done. A Jedi I knew discovered it before the purge. You won't find it on any maps. The Empire doesn't know this place exists. No. So, what's the plan? We hide out here? We're done hiding, Cal. See that structure over there? I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order. But it requires someone strong in the Force to pass its test. He just told you that his not a Jedi anymore, thing's damaged, man. Me. I know you don't trust me. And I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. Mm. But until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. May the force be with you. Again, I don't understand why. No we're Jedi then. But if there's already one here, why does Seer need me? Why it has to do the cutscenes in uh, 16.9, considering. They look like they're rendered in, um, in ultra wide anyway. I don't understand. This looks like a safe place to meditate. Just need to focus my mind. Let's spend that skill point here, can't we? Yeah, we can. What do we got? Mm -hmm. Do I need to rest? 
Okay. Let's leave. Little robot. Hey, BD1. I'm Cal. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. No, not you. I'm searching for a, a Jedi, I think. Hold on. You know the Jedi? What do you know? Wait, hold on. Did you just slice that? Thanks. Please excuse the yawning. I'm not bored. I'm just super tired. It's uh, that's the vault seer man. a day. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. Okie dokie. Any ideas? Gotta get across this gap somehow. Somehow. The zip line? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> How'd you know that would work? It's, he's a robot. You didn't? I, I, I can't meditate every time I see a thing. It's just nonsense. Careful over there. That doesn't look safe. Just like back at the scrapyard. What are you doing, bro? Surely I have to break all the things off, right? Like Kratos style. There's all the stuff that I should be getting. Not at all, nothing. Nothing in the box. Then why are the box then, if they're not for breaking? Not enough percent. That was pretty brave. You okay? Well, he's got a little Wait. sore foot. I can help you with that. Will you let me? Oh. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, your scum plank is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. Okay, try that. The vault? Yeah, that's where I was headed too. Okay, well, first we gotta figure out a way out of this place. Obviously, you just use the force, right? Like, cost my lightsaber. Hell yeah. Didn't have anything. Oh yeah, hell yeah, orange. Yeah, we're gonna go full like bronze. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Nice. Yeah, 
That's sick. Gotta have Thor's orange. Love that. Anything else in here? I don't think so. Uh, BD, that's a little small for me. Don't worry, I'll find my own way out. <laughs> Tight fit, but this should work. Around in here. It's not really a findy game, is it? A little more video, perhaps. What's that supposed to say? Actually, it's endless. Those vines look like they lead somewhere. Yeah, I okay, hope they're fine. sturdy. Oh, that was rude, man. See, that just doesn't look safe. Absolutely silly. Yeah, I'm all right. The healing stem. They're full of surprises. Thanks, little droid. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Hop on board. Suck yet. So, how'd you get here? Don't remember? I've never known a forgetful droid. Can't argue with that. Shortcut unlocked. Really? Oh, chest. Think the Jedi would mind if we grab supplies? I mean, look, man, they're mostly all dead, so. Perhaps not. Oh, I'm supposed to go. destructive whoever lived here used this room for storage they kept food and supplies you don't say I don't think you needed the force to figure that out but oh, okay okay I'll look Upward. That's where we need to go. I can feel it. I mean, she told us that's where we need to go, so... You mapped everywhere we've been. Makes sense. Can't make it over there. We gotta find another way. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, what way do you propose, young man? Am I gonna make that jump? No, I am not. So, yeah. I'm not going to get to there. Yeah, I can go down here, though. 
shoot a death roll off that dude. So, I don't know. There's a chest there. Where are you going? So what was in there? It's weird that I couldn't get past that. This tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. No cave in? Okay. This music's nice. You know, it's relaxing. Down we go. Can I zip off and kill this thing? Or grab? Yeah, I can. Look at that. Noise. Yeah. Run for it. Hey. Rude. So rude. Find something? Oh shit, what the? Wow. That was bad. I mean, I assume that's supposed to... Go down. But how? How do I make you go down? This team could be there. Okay. That was wild. Alright, so we're on the right track. That's good. I guess I just meant to block. Right. It's just because we didn't actually unlock it. See, I hear growling, and that's not fun for me. Tara. What's he found? Okay, I'll look. I'm looking. See something in there? Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. Focus. Again. Try again. Trust yourself. Yes, Master. Oh, 
Oh, it's not clumsy, just fucking slow. Oh, come on, man. Good, Time for. Now, reach my position. I did it. Persistence in the force is my ally. Just remembering old tricks. Think you can show me that shortcut again? used for meditation by someone familiar with the Jedi Order. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. I I think that's where a chest is there somewhere. Hold on. Oh, wow. Let me quickly look up here. Smell the shit. Shag brought it from Coruscant. They were frustrated with the Jedi Council. Was it Qui Gon Jin? Is it been? Yeah. Okay, fine. Not entirely sure how you're supposed to get up there. Let's get to the vault. You went on the right way. I really need a stem on the man. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about your 
scoff link. But standing up to that bog rat, pretty great. Something we can use? Some more of that. We're not finished. Okay, okay, he probably would have won. Probably. Let's meditate real quick. I think we've got a skill that we can spend as well. That's fun. Yeah, look, we're gonna, as always, increase that stamina first. I am just not good at that. Let's get a rest on. Okay, let's get out of here. Sinking into my sea. Well done. Oh, Master Bray Tech. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Eno Cordova. Master Bray Tech from Stargate. Name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron, containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. Obviously. You know, I've been alone for no. Without any purpose, just hiding. Thanks for the follow, Co. Appreciate being here. With, not for a Jedi. Or a droid. Hope you're enjoying the uh, evening single player playthrough. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey. You want to meet some, uh, friends of mine 
Was the droid not on the ship? How did the droid just appear? That makes no sense. Shit. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. All right, back to the ship, I guess. I assume this becomes sort of like your home base. So, you know, maybe we'll come back and we'll do some exploring a bit later. Oh, shit. This is bigger beastie. getting eaten right now. It's not good. It's not good. What's happening? Why is everything so slow? Sure what happened beautiful i'm hoping the second one's gonna be good like i said earlier in the stream i only played like a couple of hours of this before i restarted it so but you know star wars star wars ah right i see fight I am so sorry there we go good job man I love Star Wars I remember Going to see the Phantom Medicine 1999 when I was six years old. That wasn't that wasn't my first intro to Star Wars though. I reckon I watched uh, the original Star Wars probably in '97. Uh, you know, my dad's a big nerd and he got me into all this sort of stuff. Um, Stargate as well. I love Stargate. Huh? Anything sci-fi, anything cyberpunk. Um, you know mythology everything it's it's just different worlds different worlds is so cool you know <laughs> how different is your story there we go i assume you're a star wars fan as well I mean, it's an easy assumption. You said this was one of your faves, so. That's not opening. Okay, I'll look. My friend. It appears the Zepho had some interest in Dathomir. Strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Okay. Oh 
good. <sighs> Should be a lot quicker than the way in. That's so good. Also good wisdom. Although I love that you picked up Attack the Clones first. Like I really like Attack the Clones. Um, I know a lot of people don't like it, um, but I really love watching Obi-Wan be a detective. I think that's one of the coolest and just super unexplored things of like early Jedi work of them being Jedi, keeping peace. Like you got a little bit of that with, um, with Star Wars. Tales of the Jedi on Disney Plus that they just released, that was really cool. And I'd love to see more of that kind of Star Wars content, like the Skywalker saga, while, you know, great, is, um, I think we're finished, you know? And, and I'd love to see more of the other, other, other Star Wars stuff. Revenge of Sith, also amazing. Um, and I remember going to see that cinema in 2005 with my dad as well, and that was such, it's just such a good memory. Um, yeah, just... I don't think there'll ever be a point in my life where Star Wars just isn't something that I'm always super interested in. Kenobi and Andor, also great. I love the little nuggets they put in Kenobi about other Jedi, uh, like, you know, like Klingon Voss, which I really hope that we see depicted in a, a live action film. Um, and of course, Quinlan Voss should be played by Jason Momoa. That would be Come really here, awesome. Uh, he looks like how the character's been drawn. Um, that would help. Hi there. That would be truly amazing. Um, and I loved Andor. Like, I loved Making a new um, Rogue One when Rogue One came out. It was so good to be able to see the before, uh, like, how he got to where he got to, and just the expansions on the characters that they did. Um, just all of it. Just such a well done show. I can't wait for season two. Hopefully, in season two, um, I know they confirmed that. Alan Tudyk was coming back as K2SO. It'd be great to see more K2 in season two, just because he's so goddamn funny. Like, Alan Tudyk is a gem. And again, just it's just great Star Wars test. content. So you knew about BD1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of Batoli Mean Fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. Contains a list of force sensitive children. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sure my age here. Yeah. Um, I mean, look, it would have been I super knew. amazing to have seen the OG oh, Star Wars um, in cinemas, but yeah, I was yes. lucky enough to be born oh, early enough to see the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the prequel trilogy, all of them in the cinemas. So that was super fun, and the newest trilogies as well. Um, and I love I love the the Star Wars stories, like Rogue One, and I. I loved Solo. Uh, I thought it was a really good story. Um, I thought that um, Old Naren Reich did a great job of a young Han Solo. Woody Harrelson is perfect in like every movie he's in. And Darth Maul at the end, oof. You know. Um, but yeah, like I can't wait for more Star Wars content. I'm really looking forward to Ahsoka at the end of this year. And the Acolyte um, in the middle of this year, that's going to be really good, I think. It's got a great cast, for one. Um, you know, we're, we're living in a great time to be Star Wars fans. There's just so much content coming out. And look, not all of it can be good, but I, you know, I've enjoyed all of it. Um, Mandalorian coming out, season three next month. That's super exciting. because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. 
Yeah, fair enough. No, I didn't. I didn't rewatch them in three. I'm not a super fan of 3D. Um, I get when when Avatar came out, 3D was great. Um, but I think they should have left it with the first Avatar movie. So I didn't go and rewatch them in 3D. Um, but it was it was again it was really cool to go back to the cinema when The Force Awakens came out um, and like have that Star Wars cinematic experience again. Um, I know that the the sequels are really controversial in some people's minds, but again, it's it's content that's that's there. I really like The Force Awakens, um, The Last Jedi, controversial. There are aspects of it that I really like, and there are aspects of it that I don't like, and then The Last Jedi again, it's the same. You know, there are aspects that I don't like, and there are aspects that I do like. Um, do I think Ryan Johnson was the wrong director for The Last Jedi? Maybe. But I also think that J.J. Abrams obviously had a vision for what he wanted to do with Star Wars, and they cut him off. Oh yeah, having a, a cinema full of fans is is a whole another experience. Like, um, the best example I can think of was when we went and saw Endgame, like um, Avengers Endgame, and the cinema was just packed out, and every single scene people were ultra reactive um and that really makes like a huge difference to the cinema going experience because you feel so much more Wait, what, what, what is that thing oh it could have been super different if jj happen. had done all three films yeah, or if they'd had a different director yeah, for every film um i think the problem may have been that jj believed he was going to get all three films so he maybe did a slower setup in the force awakens which might have been a mistake it would have been better i think if they made each episode self-contained with a bigger overarching story as opposed to it's sort of just leading one into the other that was and that, that you know a lot of movies are making that mistake these days in my opinion everything's becoming serialized whereas it's really hard to get a movie that just stands alone um and I really wish they go back to a more standalone formula rather than the franchise formula, but I just don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Which is a shame, but... Think of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Ain't gonna kill you, kid. Um, I don't mind that Disney fought Star Wars. The biggest, um, the biggest benefit is the money that was injected into Star Wars. Like, obviously, Star Wars never really had a money problem. Um, I think it might have had a bit of a like a culture problem is not even the right word, but I think if Disney hadn't bought Star Wars, we certainly wouldn't be getting the content that we're getting today. Disney have so many outputs of like so many different ways to output content especially now with disney plus and the huge backing that disney gives their products um i think without them we wouldn't have gotten the star wars that we're getting today uh we wouldn't have got the sequel trilogy which would have been a bummer but then we also wouldn't have got mandalorian we also wouldn't have got ahsoka we wouldn't have got kenobi you know i think star wars would be sitting in a weird limbo um because it seems it seemed like after the prequels, George Lucas wasn't particularly interested in in progressing the story much further, and I feel like he said that. Um, however, things change. People get new ideas all the time. Um, it depends on what the beginning, what you mean by the beginning. Like when people when they announced the purchase, people were angry and people just immediately assumed the ship would be going down um i'm not too sure why that opinion was a thing it's not like star wars was ever super violent or super unfamily friendly if anything star wars is perhaps one of the most family friendly science fiction franchises that you know still exists so the fear for me wasn't there um but obviously there are things that disney won't allow 
to happen. But then when you think about stuff like The Mandalorian or even Book of Boba Fett, like, they're not, not violent. Like, Robert Rodriguez directed an episode of The Mandalorian, and it's one of the best episodes of The Mandalorian, in my opinion, where, you know, that's the episode where Boba comes back. Um, so I don't think the family-friendly aspect to Disney is a concern at all anymore, which is cool. Uh, oh, shit, nearly fell off. <laughs> um, but no, I, like, I think overall, and I think they proved that this is a franchise that they can handle. Ah, I'm gonna beat my arm. What do you think, though? Rated R Star Wars Disney film? When was that? Like, I've never heard of that. That sounds... See, but also, we are supposed to, we were supposed to have gotten, like, a Tarantino-directed rated R Star Trek film, and that's also never happened, and probably won't happen, so... And... I think, in terms of rated R Star Wars, what would you want with a rated R Star Wars film? Like, you would get maybe... Shit. Hang on. Like you, you'd look at another one. Perhaps like the Black Sun. Black Sun? No, it's not. It's not Black Sun, is it? It's um. Well done. Uh, what's the um? The crime okay. syndicate that Darth Maul owns. You'd get like that'd be a good story. But they covered that in Clone Wars. So. Yeah, right. Interesting. Um. I think Star Wars is one of those properties where. You can don't necessarily need an R-rated content, but I'd be curious to find, I'd be curious to discover what they thought they could justify R-rated content for, you know? Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into theirs. Because, yeah, that, that really piques my curiosity as a... Oh, good, a shortcut. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to have me scan? You just hopped off and then you hop back on. Ah. Okay, I'll look. Where are we going? Alright, we're nearly coming to the end of the stream yeah. here. It's been awesome having a chat with, uh, with Co187. I really, you know, I could talk about Star Wars all day. Um, I don't know that passion is the correct word, but I love Star Wars. <laughs> Come back here. Something we can use? I think they're going to keep making Mando more and more brutal the harder things get for him, and I don't think things are going to get easier for Mando the further into his story we progress, uh, especially with it looking like he's going back to Mandalore uh, this season. I think he's going to have a hard time with Bo-Katan, um, and we're supposed to be getting Sabine and that kind of crew in Ahsoka, so that's going to be cool. But yeah, like, I'm, 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 I'm also super happy where, with where Star Wars is at the moment. Um, and we've got so much to look forward to, so, you know, it's, uh, the only way we can go is up. And sure, like, people would probably say it was a bit of a rocky start, but I think maybe the future of Star Wars lies in their shows rather than their movies. Because there's just perhaps a bit more scope for better storytelling there. Or just deeper storytelling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like more details about Order 66, that is, you know, a really good point. Um, the montage that we got in Revenge of the Sith was, um, you know, brutal. And then the extended Order 66 that we got in Clone Wars just added to that emotional brutality. And then... Uh, yeah, maybe... I don't know that you could do a whole show around 
the Order 66 event, though. I don't think that would work particularly well. And I don't think you have to. But seeing Order 66 from the perspective of more surviving Jedi, I think that'd be interesting. Give up now. That finish is cool. I like that. Ah, shit. Whoops. Oh. Alright, where's the respawn point? Oh shit, it's all the way back here. Alright, well, I think we're going to leave it there for today. Um, it has been awesome playing this Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order game. Um, I'm a bit further through than when I last played it, or when I last picked this up. Um, it's been awesome chatting Star Wars with you, Co. 187. I hope that you join us on the next stream. Um, anyone else that drops in on this on the VOD or on YouTube, uh, we'll be doing a continued playthrough of this on Wednesday, so not tomorrow, but the next day at the same time, uh, for about another hour and a half. Um, but other than that, awesome, Co. We'll see you then. Um, I'll chat Star Wars with you anytime you want to be on the stream, because I will just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. So... That's that's absolutely awesome. Thank you very much for the follow-up as well. Um, everyone else, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.